students today we will understand bayes theorem with this experiment you can see that i have three glass cups and there are nails inside so i will explain the bayes theorem using the experiment of nails and the concerned event if the question says that the first cup produces 30% of the total output of nails and the second cup produces 10% of the total output and the remaining production is done by third cup so these three will make the experiment exhaustive and they are mutually exclusive because if we are producing a nail from the first factory assuming that the first cup is a first factory then how can we produce the same nail in the second factory and if we are producing nail in the second factory which is the second cup at the same time we cannot produce the same nail in the other factories so clearly the three are making the experiment exhaustive and they are mutually exclusive so we can write that p of e1 is 30 by 100 because it is producing 30 percent of the total output the probability for e2 will be 10 by 100 because it is producing 10 percent of the total output and rest is done by the third so we can add and can subtract that from one or we can directly write that because 40 percent is done by first and second so clearly 60 percent will be done by the third so you can clearly see that these are the probabilities and their sum is one because these are three mutually exclusive exhaustive events and now the question goes further and it says that two percent of the nails when are produced by first factory that is the first cup are defective well let me tell you what what is the meaning of defective nail you can see that this nail is not properly done it's its edges are not properly done similarly let me explain i have few nails here and you can see that they are not properly done now we go further and the question says two percent of the nails are defective when produced by first cup or first factory so let me uh tell you that what is the meaning of defective nails so you can see that i have few nails in my hand and they are not properly done either they are deformed or not they are not properly edged so these are the defective nails so they're saying that two percent of the nails are defective when produced by first factory and you can see that this is the conditional probability obviously the defective nail from the first factory will be a conditional probability because we need to have the first factory or the first cup then only we can analyze the defective nail so a by e1 is 2 by 100 the question says that 6% of the nails are defective when produced by second factory so this is again the conditional probability and it is 6% a by e2 so it is very necessary to have e2 then only we can find the probability of a defective nail so it is automatically a conditional probability and then the question says that four percent are defective when produced by third factory you can see that their sum is not one obviously because these are the conditional probabilities and they are depending only on e1 e2 and e3 now you can analyze that the concerned event is a defective nail so this is a defective nail and this defective nail is concerned with e1 e2 and e3 let me explain this using the Wayne diagram this is that Wayne diagram where you can see that a is concerned with e1 a is concerned with e2 and a is also concerned with e3 here a is a defective nail and e1 e2 e3 are the factories with their productions now 
If we have to find the probability of A, then you know that it is making the intersection with E1, E2 and E3. So the probability of A becomes, the probability of A is A over E1 plus its intersection with E2 plus its intersection with E3. Now you have one question that you do not have the intersection, but you have probability of E1 and the conditional probability of A slash E1. So you can break the intersection and can use the formula related to conditional probability. And that is probability of A is probability of E1 into the probability of A slash E1 plus P of E2 into P of A slash E2 plus P of E3 into P of A slash E3. Now the question says that there is a sample of nails given to the inspector and the inspector inspects and draws a nail. So there are many nails and the inspector draws a nail and he or she finds that it is defective, it is not properly done. So the question says a nail is drawn from the sample of nails which are produced by three factories and found to be defective. Find the probability that it came from the first factory or first cup. So you know the formula related to Bayes' theorem and that formula is now we, we have drawn the nail and it was defective because the concerned event is a defective nail. So P E1 slash A is, earlier it was A over E1, A over E2, A over E3, which was given to us, but now they want probability of E1 slash A. Find the probability that it came from the first factory. So you know the formula for the Bayes theorem that it is P of A intersection E1 divided by P of A intersection E1 plus the probability of A intersection E2 plus the probability of A intersection E3. And we can further break that to pure probabilities of the factories with the conditional probability of the nail, which is P of E1 into P A over E1 divided by P of E1 into P A over E1 plus P of E2 into P A over E2 plus P of E3 into P A over E3. So by putting all the information that we have we can find the answer. We have probability of E1. We also have the probability of A over E1. We have the probability of E2. A over E2. P of E3 with P of A over E3. So we can put all these information in the given formula and can do the calculations. So the calculations will be 30 over 100 into 2 upon 100 divided by 30 over 100 into 2 over 100 plus 10 upon 100 into 6 over 100 plus 60 by 100 into 4 by 100. So you can calculate. We have shown, we have shown the calculation and it is 1 by 6. So by clearly analyzing and dividing the question into pure probabilities and exhaustive events and conditional probability and then understanding the target, you can easily get the answer. Thank you very much.